Good evening, I'm just gonna move out of the way here. And thank you for coming, I'm so excited. Um, as Mrs. Campbell said, this is our third evening of our first annual concert series featuring performances from all three levels. Tuesday night we had performances from Hill Roberts Elementary School and Coelho Middle School and Attleboro High School. Last night we had performances from Hyman Fine um, Wamsada, and I know I'm forgetting who else came, Thatcher, and the high school chorus. And then tonight, we saved the best for last, right? Studley and Willett and Brennan and our high school jazz ensemble. We thank, yes, one more round of applause for that. We are very excited to bring back district-wide concerts here in Attleboro. Some of you might remember our last district performance was on March 11th, 2020. And we all know what happened after that. And our music programs really took a huge hit across the district, not just here in Attleboro, but all over the country. Um, because of the virus, students were essentially bound and gagged. They could not sing, they could not play their instruments, they could not share their love of music with each other and with the community, and everyone has felt that loss, okay? So we are super excited to be back, and not only to be back, but to be building our music programs in Attleboro to be bigger and better than ever. For the first time, beginning in September, we are going to be offering band and chorus at all three of our middle schools during the school day. <laughs> during the day. This is a big deal because it allows all students equitable access to participating in these programs as part of their schedule during the day. Um, that is a huge feat and it did not happen on its own. It was due to a lot of hard work between our administrators. I want to thank Mr. David Sawyer, Mr. Lor Mrs. Lori Regan, our assistant superintendent, Mr. Sawyer, our superintendent, our middle school principals, our 
arts teachers, people who worked together and collaborated and hashed out all the different scenarios to make this happen so that these kids, these fourth graders right here going to middle school are gonna get to participate in band and chorus throughout their middle school. And boy, wait till they get to the high school. Mrs. McCarthy, look out, they're coming your way. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so we have a lot to look forward to, but let's focus on tonight. Before I turn the microphone over to Mr. Brunel, uh, Brennan's middle school teacher, I'm going to just uh, give you an idea of how we will be dismissing the concert tonight. Last night's concert was one hour, it was perfect. We're getting faster and faster every night. So here's how it's gonna happen. At the end of the evening, the elementary schools are going to dismiss first. So we'll have Willett and Studley exiting that way. They're going to be taking a right down this corridor and they're gonna line up along both sides of the hallway. Families are going to exit, everybody else will be exiting through the rear doors, the ones you came in up there, and then you will go down that hallway, you will pick up your child, and then you will keep going and then take the first right back out into the parking lot. It keeps things moving smoothly and then nobody feels like a salmon trying to get upstream, okay? Uh, one more thing, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that in the event of an emergency, we want you to be aware of where the nearest exit is. Please note that the nearest exit may be behind you. This beautiful auditorium, right? The signs are all well lit in red. Upper balconies, they're all up behind you. Lower here at the top of the aisles, we also have an exit there. And if you're on stage, you'll go that way, okay? So we just wanted to make sure everybody knows where the exits are. And you've heard enough of me, so I want to welcome you and introduce Mr. Jacob Brunel and the Brennan Middle School Chorus. I'm a little taller if you haven't figured that up by now. All right, um, well, first and foremost, um, I, can't, I can't express enough how ecstatic I am to see everybody here um, as an entire, entire group of people that come out and see a lot of this stuff. I promise I'm not gonna talk too much, but I'm really excited. So, that being said, um, first off, my name is Jacob Brunel. I am the music director at Brennan Middle School. Um, my job right now is to try and get some of the stuff off the ground, a lot of the band and chorus stuff um, at the middle schools with some of my other colleagues. Um, we're gonna do a wide variety of things for you tonight. We've kept it kind of with a theme, we kind of skirted around a couple things, but that being said, I think you'll like some of the music. I have a couple fun facts about the music as well that you'll hear, so you get to learn while you're here as well. Okay, so, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce the Brennan Middle School Chorus and singing Arabian Nights. Oh, 
Ooh, I still get chills every time we sing that song. Ooh, ooh, I love it. All right, so I did promise that I had a couple fun facts for you about some of the songs. And if you know anything about Aladdin and where it's based off of, you'll see that there's a lot of uh, emphasis on a lot of Arabic culture and a lot of culture of the Middle Eastern countries of the world. Um, but I want to tell you something about, a little bit about Aladdin, something that I discovered fairly recently that I didn't really know about. And um, curse you, Disney, for not telling me about this. But anywho, the story of Aladdin, believe it or not, is actually set in China. Its original story was based in around the Chinese culture. Um, Aladdin, in that story, is obviously Chinese, but he's not an orphan street rat. He is actually a lazy bum that stays around house with his mom. Um, all the characters in that actual, um, that actual show um, were also Chinese as well. Okay? And the magician, which was taking place by Genie, was actually based around North African descent. Okay? Um, the city of Agrabah, believe it or not, the city of mystery and enchantment, as it's so-called, is in fact a fictional city imagined from Disney's Aladdin film in 1992. The creators drew inspiration from the city of Baghdad in Iraq and then gave the city a fictional name. Disney also drew on the Indian city of Agra's Taj Mahal for the setting of the story's royal palace. Some fun facts I didn't even know about that, and I saw that movie years ago. Look at me go. All right, so in an effort to keep with the theme, we have another song for you that I'm sure that everybody knows. I want to present Friend Like Me. I'm switching mics. I feel like I'm going to pull that one out of the socket. All right. So, man, I love that song. I love that tune. Um, we worked on that one, believe it or not, since September. I think, I'm surprised they're not sick of it by now, but they really kind of like went at this song. As soon as we started doing a lot of this stuff, a lot of the things that started to come out was their passion for this. And what I'm really impressed about is that a lot of these students who have never really done a performance before, some of them have, some of them haven't, stepped up to the plate and still did a lot of performances and really put themselves out there and something that's very uncomfortable to do for the first time. And there's a lot of people that I know that would, wouldn't dare even touch a stage, let alone take a class during the year, practice for months on end, and then come out here and do it for all of you. So I can't, I can't express how incredibly proud I am of the students that I have behind me, and they've really made me the proud music teacher um, of Brennan Middle School. So I really want to hand it off to these guys. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so we have a couple more songs for you. And um, again, me being the fun fact guru up here, I do like to have some fun facts about the songs that we do. So the next song we are going to perform is actually from a, another famous Disney movie by the name of Moana. And the song we are going to be performing is How Far I'll Go. Now, 
I did some research on this song as well and found some other interesting things. The place that Bawana keeps being drawn back to is significant because it's forbidden. And that was the first opening line I read and I was like, wow, that's a really powerful line right there. Miranda's lyrics are representative of the Little Mermaid, the person who actually wrote this. Uh, particularly when Ariel was singing about uh, the live in the real world uh, instead of under the sea, she wants to follow her dreams by traveling somewhere far away. It's the same thing in Moana. The song hints to a sense of discord between Moana and the people in her hometown. She notes that everybody, seem, everybody else seems happy, but she isn't. The real sense is that she has so much potential, and if she can only get away, she would realize it. I guess that's all I wrote. Whoops. So without further ado, this is How Far I'll Go from the Brit hit movie Moana. still singing beautifully every time. So, we're coming towards the end of our little performance here, and we got plenty more people coming up here, so I hope that you're ready, because it's gonna be a really fun night. Um, so for this next song, um, this was kind of a diversion from the Disney path that we've been on for a while. We were on a Disney kick for months and months and months, and we're like, you know what? Let's change it up a little bit. We've done too much Disney stuff, right? So, we're gonna be joined by a couple of our, our high school individuals here. Um, Austin and Ian. Yeah, I got it right. These guys. Everybody here that knows me knows I'm terrible with names, so I apologize if I ever butcher someone's name in the future. Anywho, I can't stress how incredibly um, talented the people that are up on the stage, both from our school and from the high school and everybody in this audience and from everything that we put to work together to get these things to work have been incredible. Absolutely an incredible experience. So. I'm gonna give you, again, the last fact, I promise, of the night. 
um, about this song. The next song that we're gonna sing is called Soldier Poet King by the Oh Hello. Some of you might know this song, and if you don't know this song, there's a really interesting backstory to it that I didn't really think was a part of it. I'm gonna paraphrase because there's a lot here. So, you'll hear about a couple different things. The soldier, the poet, the king. The soldier represents the people who physically remove the victim from the abuser. The overall story that the Oh Hello started talking about is um, how abuse and along the lines of um, any sort of physical, mental, emotional abuse can affect people in a lot of different ways. And this song is about the rejoicing of the breaking of that chain. That's something I didn't plan, the originality of things. I found this out later down the line, but I thought it was a nice message anyway. The soldier represents the people who are physically removed from the victim, from the abuser, and take away the tangible power they have over the victim. It's worth noting that Tear Your City Down is the first use with the soldier, and then repeated later, because it eventually, even though the soldier tore the city down, what it represents still stands in the victim's mind. The poet represents people who help the victim get over and move past their fears of the abuser. Ridicule and dissection are the most powerful tools to combat fear with. So to make sure that the victim understands the abuser had no longer holds, and realistically didn't hold, as much power over them as they claimed, slaying them with their tongue has more impact on anything physical and tangible. The ruler is the most important. It's the most kind-hearted people who fill the void the abuser used to hold. Friends who look after people who left the abuser's family, new lovers after abusive exes, Overall, people who demonstrate the victim how they're supposed to be treated. The line, smeared in oil like David's boy, likens to the importance of the person in breaking the cycle of abuse to a king chosen by a prophet to ensure the kingdom's health. So a cool little story behind that that I didn't really know about until we looked further into it. But, anywho, enough of me talking. You want to hear the music. So, without further ado, this is Soldier Poet King by the Oh Hellos.
Absolutely love it. I can't be, I honestly, when I, when I first started here about two years ago now, I didn't, really, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into until the talent really started to show between a lot of these kids. So I have to give a couple incredible thank yous. This extends to the band as well as we go through. But first and foremost, I'd like to thank our high schoolers for helping us put this all together with a lot of their stuff here. That song wouldn't have just happened, so. I'd like to also extend a few thank yous to Ms. Lori Regan and Dave Sawyer, our superintendents. Without their help through a lot of the scheduling and revamping of a lot of the things that we're doing, we wouldn't be here right now. So round of applause for them as well. I'd also like to thank Ms. Katie McCarthy and Mr. Gary Hyman for hosting us here and helping us organize and taking the time out of their busy schedule to help us out. Um, they've been a ton of help and I think they're gonna be even more help as we keep going through on two things. I'd also like to thank Ms. Stephanie Torres, who has been our uh, curriculum coordinator here for a while and has helped us really um, take a lot of the stuff to to a lot of the higher ups and to explain a lot of these things and to help us really organize and start getting ourselves to where we need to be for a music department. So hats off to her for fighting the good fight. I promise I'm almost done. I'd like to thank our three building principals at Brennan Middle School, Ms. Julie O'Boyle, Mr. Arnold Chamanlal, and Mr. Matthew Buchanan. They have been an incredible help to support us through this. They have been nothing but supportive. Thank you, thank you, you guys have made it. Everything it needs to be. And very lastly, I want to thank all of you. The parents, the grandparents, the guardians that accept this and are bringing it in and are being flexible with us while we do this big transition, I can't tell you how much it means to each of us as musicians and music teachers to see you out here supporting us, supporting your kids, and to supporting the entirety of the music department throughout the curriculum and throughout the district. So hats off to you for being flexible in these strange, strange times. Thank you dearly. Okay, I promise I'm done talking now. So, that being said, we're gonna do a short little transition. We're gonna get some of our uh, elementary school kids up here, and then we'll keep going. Stick around, it's gonna be fun. Without further ado, Ms. Pachusik and the Willett Elementary School Chorus. Hi everyone, Hi. I'm um, Ms. Pachusik. I am the music teacher at Willett. This is my first year here in Attleboro and it has been so much fun to work with these kids and they've been working so, so hard. So let's just go ahead and start. We're gonna start off with Big World, Small World.
I really enjoy that song. So the last one that we are going to do, we're doing a quick two here. We are now going to do um, As You Walk Through This World. I forgot the name for a second. As You Walk Through This World. So wait. Everybody. My name is Alan Clavette. I'm the music teacher at Studley Elementary. I think I've been in Attleboro now for 17 years. Um, I'm going to try to just keep things moving a little bit here, and we're going to do two songs. Our first song is called Glorious.
Our last song tonight is a classic, Surfing USA. Mr. Jacob Brunel and the Brennan Middle School Band. Cool, I'm kind of anchored here because my cord's kind of wrapped around everything, so in an effort not to trip anybody. Hi, hello again, how you all doing? Wasn't that great, wasn't that great? Let's give a flash round of applause for, for our elementary students. That was phenomenal. I was jamming out in the back there. I was like, yeah, surfing USA? Yeah, man, look at that going. We got all these pop culture references. This is great. All right. So I want to talk a little bit about the band program here and kind of how things have worked at BMS for the last, I'd say, since September. Um, believe it or not, this actually isn't our full band. Um, believe it or not, our band actually started in January. Actually, no, in December. It was roughly about the last week of December, right before break that we started. So these guys have only had instruments in their hands for about three months or so, which is astounding from the way that they sound. Um, one thing that I really am thankful for is to see that even though this was more of a volunteer thing, it was like, look, if you're comfortable, come out, try it out. It's the first performance. Get your feet wet, get your toes wet, see how it is. A lot of people showed up. I was like, wow, look at the courage on these kids. For people who have never held an instrument before or some of them that have held an instrument maybe once or twice in their life are now on stage ready to perform, and it's astounding. So we're going to keep things we're going to kind of light tonight when it comes to some of our selections. Um, we do have a couple selections that are going to be definitely something that you recognize. Some of them are a little out of season, but that's okay. We're going to start off with a very famous piece. I'm sure that everybody knows it. Hot Cross Buns.
Can't beat hot cross buns, man. It's one of the best songs ever. I remember when I learned the back of recorder in third grade. Love it that it's still in the books. Okay, so the next song we're gonna do is a little bit more challenging of a piece. It's called Crusader's March. Again, it's a short piece, but however, it took us a lot of effort to kind of get to the point where we're at now. So this is one of our kind of benchmarks. What we like to do in band, at least what I'm doing right now, is I like to tier instruction. We try to do easiest piece, middle ground piece, hard piece. Okay, and a lot of the things that we do in band kind of mirror that. So this is Crusader's March. Gives me chills every time. All right, cool. So while we work out of a lot of the method book material to start off in and band, we try to kind of push outwards towards some of the more popular things that you know and have heard throughout a lot of your lives. So this next one's a bit out of season. Uh, it's about three months late, and I get that, I get that. You know, nobody likes the kind of Christmas in July thing, but uh, hey, it's March, it's not July. So that being said, we have one last selection for you, and this is Jingle Bells. hard to believe that it's only been three months it blows my mind every time i hear these kids it's been it's been an absolute pleasure doing this and i'm looking forward to continuing this next concert you'll see will be a lot bigger this is only a small portion of the band grand total between seventh and eighth grade we have roughly about 60 members and on top of that for next year we will have a fifth through eighth grade band program at brennan middle school which is super exciting which means that now this spreads to everybody what you're not excited about that i'm excited come on All right, I kid, I kid, I kid. But seriously, from the previous thank yous of all the people that I thanked before and to all of you, thank you for your support. Thank you for everybody to support. If I forgot any names, thank you so much. From the bottom of our hearts, we can't really stress enough how important this, us, this is to the students, to us, to everybody. And you've made a lot of people really, really talented and really, really happy. Thank you so much.
Good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Can we have a round of applause for all of the fantastic groups that have played this evening? I am the band director here at Attleboro High School. Uh, what you see behind us is one of our after-school ensembles. This is our jazz band. Anyone from the school is welcome to join. Uh, some people learn, and they learn an instrument along the way. Some people are in class with us. Just before we get started, uh, fourth graders, how many of you signed up for band for next year? Love those hands. And how many, you can put your hands down, how many of you signed up for chorus for next year? Yeah! And how about our Brennan friends? How many of you signed up for chorus next year? And Brennan, how many of you signed up for band for next year? Yeah! We are so excited to keep growing our program in, uh, honestly, thank you again. We've said so many thank yous tonight, but thank you to all of you for supporting your children in the arts in a time where you could make a bunch of other choices. You are here on a Thursday night to see your kids. And thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts as teachers. We really appreciate that. Our first song we're going to play this evening is called Act Your Age. It's a Gordon Goodwin chart. It's going to feature solos by Kaylin Jennings on alto sax. <laughs> and Nick Smith on trumpet.
And for our final piece of this concert and our concert series, we couldn't think of anything better than a round of applause, so here is Lady Gaga's applause. Yeah. 